Hi, it's me again with Kirill Roll Tips and Tricks, and this is going to be about tracing text that you got in in a graphic, and if you got some text in a graphic, Kirill just doesn't do a good job with text. But there is a way around this, and you can see that this is a photograph of a text. We'll do the order back a page and put the, so you can see the white bounty box. So we need to trace it. But most time, Corel does not trace text very good, but we're just gonna go to trace, outline trace clip art, which I use most of the time. And right here is your corner smoothness. And if we put it all the way to 100, because it's, a, it's smoothing the corners, it's gonna round it off. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna put that back to zero so you get square. And even if you smooth this one, you get some weird stuff. So a lot of times, if you'll set this back just a zero, zero and say, okay. Now the trace part is always gonna be on top. It looks a little better, but it's still got some outlines around it and the X is jagged. So what we can do is look at it, left click, no fill, right click outline. And if we go to object and ungroup it, a lot of times you can click on that gray part and just hit delete. And now you can see it's a, like almost a wireframe effect. The other T actually did a better job. And so it's ready to go. I mean, it's a good vector corner. Now the X is a little bit different because it had so many nodes, but you can fix that. My suggestion would be to swipe through here and get as many nodes as you can and hit delete. We're gonna go down here and get as many as we can and hit delete and delete. Then in the middle, you need to be a little more careful. We can actually add a node right there in the center and then let's delete that one and that one and then go up here and delete all these. So we have that and you still, still have a curvature, but we can fix that in just a second. So we're gonna delete all these nodes we're gonna delete that node and that node and then swipe through and delete that node. And we're almost done. I'm just gonna do half of the X, the top half. We're gonna delete that, go through here and delete that. Try to delete all these, delete these two more. Now we've got a good curvature. I'm gonna to have to delete a few more lines or a few more nodes to get a perfect X. I'm gonna actually put a node right there by double clicking a node right there by double clicking and then I'm gonna delete the other node. Now what we're gonna do is encompass all those nodes. I didn't get the bottom ones. So make sure they light up and then right click and turn them into a line. Now you've got a strong, good looking font looking object. It's not a font anymore. Now. You could do the exact same thing we did, and depending on what X, we're gonna make a copy of that. I hit the plus key on the keyboard. And I'm actually gonna do a little trick here. We're gonna go and put that X in the center of the page by hitting P. Let me move this other text out of the, out of the way. This is a little bit unorthodox, but instead of removing all those nodes, We've got the top ones done. We can take a two point line and draw a line holding down the control button and hit P. Now you see that the bottom of the X is a little bit bigger, but we can move that. And I didn't do a real good job of getting rid of all the nodes. So let's get rid of some of the nodes. Just right in there. Let's uh, take those two and right click and turn them into a line. Let's get rid of that node and that node. We're gonna call that good for right now. We're gonna bring that line in now and put it, I grab the X, let's grab the line and have it snap to that node. Now what we can do is take our shape tool, grab that node and put it up to there. Now what we can do is take our virtual segment delete key and delete this bottom half. Control D and make a duplicate. And while holding down the control button, get your two point arrow and just bring it down, get rid of our line. And then I would smart fill it to fill it in. What that's gonna do, it's gonna make a new shape. Move that out of the way. 
left click no fill right click outline get rid of these two parts and bring our bring our X into that same spot you can see it looks a little bit smaller because maybe the bottom half of the X was larger so what we can do is bring in an indexing line and put it to the top I've got to turn on my indexing line get another indexing line and put it to the bottom now we can take our X and just stretch it to that line and then stretch it back up to the top ever so slightly and if you're having trouble there you can set your nudge factor on something pretty little and, and nudge it down to that X or to that line let's turn off our indexing line let's go here and right click fill and it's a little bit maybe a little bit off but uh, on the X to the left to right, but it looks pretty good. So we've taken a picture of a font that was pretty blurry, not too bad, and made it into a vector font. If you happen to have a text inside of a, a clip art. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.